Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we are making dinner with you. Yeah. I'm excited for our dinner too. Me too. This is a holiday charcuterie board, but it doesn't have to be for the holidays. We're adding some extra red and green in here, but this is good for any time of the year. Um, I think people tend to do it more near the holidays. It's very popular for New Year's in particular, but we like this kind of stuff any old time. Heck yeah. So we went shopping. We got a bunch of stuff that we want to eat, we want to try. Um, and we're not going to be trying it for this video, but we're going to be showing you how we make our charcuterie board. Yep. So do you want to talk about some of the things that we have maybe? Yeah. So obviously like in a bunch of um, uh, charcuterie boards, you've got meats. You've got um, cheeses, you've got different fruits and crackers and stuff like that. Pickled items, typically. Yeah, so... So maybe talk through the cheese a little bit first. Okay, uh, we've got sharp cheddar and uh, some Swiss cheese. I've got some hot habanero cheese for me. Um, we've got different cheese like the soft cheese, garlic and fine herb. Um, as another soft cheese, we've got everything... Uh, goat's milk. It's yeah, got everything so, bagel cheese. Yeah, you know the yeah. everything bagel seasoning that's popular at Trader Joe's and Aldi. That's yeah. In fact, that's where we got that was Aldi. Uh, Manchego cheese. Um, so for cheese, we how we like to roll is something kind of soft, something a little you know kind of harder. We had wanted to get a different kind of Swiss, but they didn't have it. And, you know, in times that we are facing right now, we did not want to run all over the place. So we just got what they had as far as Swiss goes. But usually a harder cheese or two, a softer cheese or two, right. something, something in the middle. Yeah, something yellow, something what you know. What do they say about wedding? Something old, something... <laughs> <laughs> so for charcuterie, something soft, something seasoned, um, Yeah. you know, a variety is what I'm trying to say. Right. As far as the meats go, we have a garlic summer sausage. Uh, we've got some prosciutto, uh, some spicy bite-sized dry salami, and then some original dry salami. Um, so that's it for our meats. And you can do whatever you want to there. I think people typically do some sort of salami. I think that's pretty common. Yeah. Um, sometimes you see uh, pepperoni. I mean, use whatever you like. Yep, uh, as far as our um, pickled items, we've got some garlic stuffed uh, olives, we've got some Kalamata olives, and then um, these little peppers that are stuffed full of cheese. Mmm, look at those things. Stuff, wild garlic cheese stuffed peppers. And then we also have a couple different salsas. Yeah, um, the one on the right is, uh, I'm sorry, the one on the left over here is from Aldi. The one on the right, I made it from our garden. And it's spicy, spicy, it's spicy. very spicy. We've got some grapes, green and red. We've got some raspberries. Pomegranate. And uh, crackers. And we do have some naan bread. Yep, and we have a tapenade too. Yeah. So I always like to do some pickled items and definitely, definitely a variety of crackers. And then in addition, some sort of spread. Uh, I usually like to get hummus or a tapenade or both, but do whatever. And then I, oh, oops, I always like to add something sweet. Yep. So we got some truffles. Yep. So and now we're going to build it and I can't.
All right, guys. So here's the finished product. My goodness, it looks gorgeous. I think it looks amazing. I would be very happy if we were having a party and we were serving this, but we're not. Party of two. <laughs> yeah. And that's okay. We'll have um, meats and cheeses to eat for a couple of days. So. But wow, what fun. It was a lot of fun to do this. Yeah. So a couple of finishing touches that we did that I'm sure you saw. We added some little rosemary sprigs. We had these left from our garden. So if you don't have rosemary, you certainly could buy something fresh. Um, in the produce section. We added some raspberries for color and just something a little sweet. And then we just, you saw how we did it. We just kind of piled it up. What I did, especially like if this were a party, I wanted to show you something that I like to do is cut little shapes. You know, we have little Christmas trees and gingerbread men and stars and whatever, and just set them on top of the crackers or on top of the piles or whatever. Of course, they're not gonna stay there for the whole time. Somebody's gonna eat them or whatever, but you know, to get your Instagram picture <laughs> or right. whatever. Yeah. We've got chocolate sitting over here. Some of the things that we don't, I was mindful about stuff leaking, leaching liquids into other things. So chips are going to be gross if, you know, a sauce or something gets on them. So we put them in a, in a glass and these are the kind of things that are packed in oil. So we put them separate and chocolates. You don't want that mixing with anything else. So we just put that stuff in glasses and also it elevates it so it gives your charcuterie board a little bit more room yeah a little more depth yeah so we are excited to try this let us know what you like to put on your charcuterie board or if, if you've ever made one before and um if, now we're gonna eat <laughs> yeah we are going to eat so we're gonna sign off if you are not subscribed go ahead and do that right now we love our subscribers we love to interact with you and go ahead and hit the little bell Ding. so you can be notified when our new videos do go up. We are on all the platforms. Come find us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Instagram everywhere. Um, Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, all the things. Come find us over there. Uh, now, if you like meats. Oh, yeah, and cheeses. Or cheeses or little pickled vegetables. Oh, you know what this is missing is pickled mushrooms. We can not find them anywhere. Oh, no, we I couldn't. I love them. Um, or fruits or snacks. I mean, this is going to be our dinner tonight. It can be a dinner or it's just a snack, too, yeah. however you want to use it. Anyway, if you like any of that stuff or the holidays or us or the video, then give this video a big thumbs up. And that's all we have for today. That's it, guys. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.